What's up YouTube, Justin Fuller, and today is a good day. We're gonna be reviewing the 2024 Honda CRV EX, arguably the most popular SUV that Honda has to offer and the most popular trim. So if you're wondering, how does this stack up against other SUVs out there in the market? And then is it different from a 2023? We're gonna go over all that. So let's hop on in. Under the hood, you've got 190 horsepower running to a CVT, putting out 28 in the city and 34 on the highway. I'm gonna throw that comparison up and see how this car stacks with two other makes and models out there in the world. While that is up, I will remind you that if you were looking at the hybrid model, you can get 204 horsepower out of this car. So understand that depending on the trim level of the car, you are gonna be riding in a little bit different engine. Now, if you're looking at a 2023 model, understand there is no changes really related to the engine, transmission, uh, horsepower, things like that. So it's gonna be the exact same. Now let's talk about miles per gallon. This car, the EX, gets 28 in the city and 34 on the highway. So I'm gonna throw a comparison to see how this car stacks up to other makes and models out there in the world. Just a reminder, if you jump down that 2023, not gonna make a difference, it's gonna be the exact same. But if you jump to that hybrid model, you can get 43 in the city and 36 on the highway, so that is a considerable jump in gas mileage. So if that's something important to you, you might wanna look at the trim above this. Related to that, let's talk about trims. A reminder, below this is the LX, that is your base model. Above this is the Sport Hybrid. So you have a standard gasoline engine below it, but the next level up is gonna be a hybrid. So I wanna throw a couple things up on the screen. One, if you drop down to the LX, how much money is it gonna save you? And then two, what is the list of items that you're giving up? And then after you've looked at that, let's talk about jumping the other way. If I jump up to that Sport Hybrid, how much extra am I gonna spend? What additional amenities and things am I gonna get out of that? Let's talk about the front row. You've got 41.3 inches of leg space in this car. I'm gonna throw a comparison up on the screen so you can see how this car stacks to other makes and models. The 41.3 is the exact same in the 23, 22, like I don't know how many years back. So not a lot of change as far as the dimensions in the front of this car. As a six footer who weighs about 250, I fit in this car just fine. I can widen my legs out. I don't run into anything. I don't feel uncomfortable. So understand if you're a bigger guy, shouldn't be a concern. Now, when you jump into the second row, you've got 41 inches of leg space. I wanna say it's a little bit different from the 23, but not huge. It's like not even a whole inch. But I wanna throw a comparison up so you can see how the 41 inches stacks up to other makes and models out there in the world. After you've looked at that, let's talk about cargo space, right? So there's two dimensions of cargo space I wanna talk about. The first is the most common. If I have the seats folded up, right, just the standard cargo space, it's 39.3 cubic feet. So I'm gonna throw a comparison up and see how this car stacks up to other makes and models out there in the world. Now, compared to a 2023, if you're thinking about shopping something used, I wanna say it's almost the exact same, right? I think it's the exact same. Uh, so not a lot of difference there. Now, if you fold the seats down, you get 76.5 cubic feet, which I wanna say is about a cubic foot or so, uh, different than the 2023. So I'm gonna throw that comparison up so you can see how this car with the seats folded down, stacks up to other makes and models out there in the world. Uh, after you've taken a look at that, would I recommend this car? Absolutely. Would I recommend the hybrid over the non-hybrid? It really just depends on how you're gonna use it, right? If you're gonna do a lot of driving, the hybrid makes a lot of sense. I would probably jump up and spend the additional, I think it's like almost two grand to get that hybrid personally. But if it's not important to you and you know you work from home and you don't drive that much, well then maybe this makes more sense, right? But I would prefer to have the gas mileage. So it's just an understanding of what you need the car for. Now, as far as a, a car for older people, younger people, people with families, I love that this car doesn't sit really high and it doesn't sit really low. So if you're older, you got bad knees, you're young and you got bad knees, you can shift in and out of this car very easy. I like that the second row has air vents and uh, USBs back there. So if you have little ones or ones that are gonna be taking a road trip, you can keep them entertained. Uh, and then in the back, you've got a good enough amount of cargo space that you can throw a good amount of like, you know, whether it be a drum kit if you're in a band, whether it be a bunch of stuff if you like to go camping, uh, maybe you need a lot of suitcases because you travel a lot. All of that will fit in the back of this car. My one complaint about the 24 model is that when you flip the seats down, it's now got this kind of hump in the back it used to be very flat so if you're camping and the weather got bad you could just fold the seats down and lay in the back of the car you can't really do that anymore and that's kind of a bummer but in the grand scheme of things is that really that bad absolutely not so hopefully that helps you out one i hope you press the like button because you like the way i present the, co the uh, content two leave me a comment let me know if you think i missed something there's something you want to go over a perfect example the zero to 60 times i used to not do that a guy asked me so why not i think that's a great idea let's start adding it in so i look forward to hearing what you think and what you would like to see uh third i hope you subscribe to my channel so when i put out videos like this you will get them uh and then fourth i hope you share this you know if you got a friend who's shopping around for you know maybe for a subaru or a, a toyota rav4 or whatever the case may be and you're saying hey man you might want to look at the crv i think you you like the way this guy presents the comparisons i hope that you'll share it with him other than that hope you like comment subscribe all the things Later, guys.